uh, we plead the church with the peace of the Lord <coughs> and I invite the brothers who stand up at this time we're going to be opening our Bibles in the book of Luke chapter 7 starting verse 11 Luke 7 11 Luke 7 starting with verse 11 <coughs> 7 11 Amen And it says the word of the Lord Soon afterward Jesus went to the town called Nain and his disciples and a large crown went along with him. As he approached to the town gate, that person was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a large crown from the, the town with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her, and he said, Don't cry. Then he went up and touched the beer that were carrying him. And he said, Young man, I say to you, get up. O oh Lord, we want to thank you at this time. Ready for the Spirit. Because we know that you, Lord, have been talking to our hearts. And we ask the Lord for you to talk through your word. We ask you in the name of Jesus, Amen. The brothers may be seated. No. <coughs> Don't bury your sons. We see here a passage with this fact and this experience that Jesus did in his career. His act the act of Jesus was prophetic but what is prophetic it is everything that is already determined in the eternity of the Lord so we see here the widow and the word says here the widow of Nain many can say oh her husband was called Nain oh no Nain is the city in the north of Israel is a region that has a lot of mountains, a lot of rocks, many difficulties for you to reach in that city. The city stays right next to the city Tamar. Tamar means um, strength, fortress. And Jesus there, he left Carfanaon. The word says that Kafanaun to Nain is one day a trip. Usually six six hours. And he went there with his disciples. And the word uh, doesn't describe what happened after this miracle. So the only thing that Jesus had to do there was to bless this widow. To bless that people. giving them their experience that he did and show why he was there and the word says that there was two two crowns of people two groups a group that were coming with Jesus and another group that was coming um, with all the other people and they say that they met in the door at the gate of the city so let's say that the cemetery right there it was right outside of the city just like some regions some small towns it is like that the cemetery it's always outside of the city so we think that like the cemetery right there there was the people that was anxious you know to receive the body But the word says that the widow burying her son, we see that the lady, 
She only had one son. That she was gonna bury. And she was already a widow. We can imagine that on that time, a life of a woman, it was reduced basically to take care of their house. Who would give everything to the family was the husband. And she loses her husband. So we say that her first dream of leaving a family, having a life, she buried that was her husband and we see that that period it was a period that it was a period of farm they only lived by farm you know but the widow I already had ex a hope that was her son of her son to bring a family sustain the house give food but his destiny it was cut another again gave up her hope of her continuing having a life so her son dies and the word says she went to bury his son her son it was there again burying her dream and we can see once again who would stay there and happy it was going to be the people that was going to bury another life another dream but I say my brothers that you that have a dream and you have no hope Jesus is your hope Jesus is the only one that can make sure something he's here to bless you he's here to say that he is your hope He's, he's the only thing that you can believe so you can see the victory happening in your life. Jesus, he, he looks at a woman and he sees how sad she was. He doesn't see only the exterior sadness, but he sees the interior sadness. And he said, and the word says that he had compassion. It is. When you feel the pain of the other person, it is when you feel the pain of a brother. In the presence of the Lord and the walk, we have uh, many times struggles and we think that we are alone. But our experiences, it is that we, we are from a body. And this body works together, it works with harmony. And in this body, we have fruits. We have God operating. We see Jesus alive in among us. <coughs> Jesus tells her, don't cry. Jesus at the moment, he transfers something different to that woman. He stops his history right there. He, st he stops her there, a lack of hope, and he takes away all the sadness, everything that was impossible from her. Jesus, at the moment, he stops, and then he tells her, don't cry, giving another, once again, a hope into your heart. It's interesting that the word talks about Jesus saying oh that he touched um, the tomb and for Jesus to touch that it was a really really big responsibility and the word says that um, if the word says that before on that time if they touch um, someone that was dead you'll be con uh, contaminated but there the but there was life touching the dead and it changed once again to and that showed that Jesus once again came to set it free 
have to set it free and take out everything that was wrong with the men. And he says, and he tells the youth, get up. And he says, Jesus right there, he transferred life. And if there's no life, what is there? Death. And that youth right there, he had a meeting with life, with Jesus. He had an experience great and wonderful with, with Jesus. And the Bible says there was two two crowns. The crown that was coming with, the pe with Jesus, happy because they knew everything that Jesus was going through. And there was the group that was sad without hope. And sometimes we come to the house of the Lord without hope. We are sad. We see a body that even with struggles, we have the happiness in our life because the blessing of the Lord it is every day renewing in our life so we can have an eternal life we thank you Lord
Aleluia. Where Jesus enters, there's life. If there's life, there's. If there's death, there's life. If there's sadness, there's happiness. If it's a lack of peace, there's peace. Uh, Naimi is um, charming, beautiful. And it's interesting that when we look at this, this moment of struggle that this widow was going through, we can see that Jesus, he enters. The word says that that two crowns, they met at the gate, and we know that the gate, it is open. The, the gate of grace, where we find life that is Jesus Christ. Two crowns. And I ask, which crown are we? What crown am I in? The crown that is going life? Or the crown that's going left. And I'll left this question so you can open your hearts and let the life in and let the beauty of the Lord inside of our hearts. The Lord has shown that uh, when we were preaching, there was a letter, and this letter had an arc, a red arc. And this letter opened it right when the locked was, right when the seal was undoed. And the letter said, I'm, I'm the Lord of the armies, the King of Judah. Don't worry, because my love, it is upon your life. And there was another one that a, a lady came here. And when she got here, she was little tired and she is still tired and there was an angel right next to her not letting her sleep it wasn't letting her not to participate of this fellowship with the Lord let's have a word of glorification to the Lord at this time Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name for your presence in our lives. We thank you, Lord, because we know that we are in the crown that has life. Because there is renew. We thank you, Lord, because you loved us first. Because you've been with us every moment in our lives. We thank you, Lord, because you've been blessing us. Even when we're in struggles. Because you have been with us, we thank you, Lord, because you are our house, our happiness. That's why, Lord, we are happy. That's why, that's why we are happy, because the happiness comes from you. We are happy to be here, Lord, to be at this crown. There are ha happiness. There is life. We thank you, Lord, for this great love. In the name of Jesus, Amen.
in the name of the Lord. I invite the church to stand up at this time so we can end our service and right after if you want a prayer assistance we are right here to help you out to pray for you to pray for you and your family so you can receive all the blessings. Let's close our eyes Oh Lord, we want to thank you, Father, for the service, because we can feel your Holy Spirit here. We ask you, Lord, that you might receive all the adorations, all the prayers of the people here at your church. Take us in peace, so we can have a good night in your presence. Visit us, your, your people, with dreams, so we can receive the right direction of your Holy Spirit, so we can hear your voice. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, amen. In your name we say that the grace, the Holy Grace, our Father Jesus Christ, and the love and eternal Father, and sweet and eternal consolations, and the uh, gift from the Holy Spirit could be upon us now and forever, amen. The church may be seated tomorrow. We are gonna have a a, a supper, a supper yeah. of the Lord, um, because of the ending of the month of October. So tomorrow we're gonna have uh, the supper of the Lord. We are already in November, but it counts for October. So we're gonna let all the groups know. So that could so everyone could be here tomorrow, ten thirty. So let's uh, let's keep praying for the people that are sick. We have some brothers here. So let's keep praying for their physical lives. It is one of the reasons so why we pray. Pray, f pray for those who cry, and be happy for those who are happy. Pray for physical health and spiritual health. So tomorrow they could be here, you know. So let's pray. Let's pray for those brothers and put them in our list. All right. On on Monday we're gonna have the the meeting with the townhouse. It's gonna be our first meeting directly to them. We already sent a lot of documents, papers. Now we're gonna have the first, we're gonna take the first look with them right there. 
so every, everything could be you know done on Monday but it could be prolonged to another month but as soon as better so as the brothers should be praying for that so on Monday 6 30 we're gonna be there at the town center you know the Coral Springs I uh, service meeting with group B tomorrow at 10 10 30 we're gonna have the supper of the Lord and we have the classes the guitar the guitar classes right now alright so peace of the Lord to everyone